Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. We're going to make this card in just a few moments with the Peaceful Poppies. Uh, this is a very, very beautiful set. I feel like it will be a major seller in the Occasions catalog that will be launching January 3rd. I have a brand new setup here in my craft room to do my videos. I'm very excited about it. Um, so I hope this brings you more straight down over my cards and I am right behind them now instead of a tripod in front of me. So I hope that things are um, looking a little better on camera. Uh, so here we go with January 3rd. We're going to launch the Occasion Celebration Catalog. And what this is, is when you order $50 in product, either from the um, Occasions Catalog or the Annual Catalog, then you get to pick free items out of the Celebration Catalog. And these free items go in increments of 50. Some are $50 and some are $100. So depending on your order, um, you will there will be a little box kind of at the bottom and it'll say rewards and then you'll get to pick free items out of here. Now, I have mailed out or I had Stampin' Up! mail out all of my catalogs uh, to my customers over the past year and a half. I did a special shipment with Stampin' Up! Um, but some people have not received their catalogs. So, uh, I have put those in the mail for them, but if you've been a customer of mine in the past year and you don't have one of these catalogs, past like year, year and a half, um, and you don't have these catalogs, just email me at joannemaddy at outlook.com and I'll be happy to put a set in the mail for you. Um, so I don't know what, ha what happened with that. When Stampin' Up! gets back in, I'm going to have to call them because that's two people that I know of that have not received them yet. I should say yet. I don't know if they're on their way. They should have really already got them. Okay, so the other um, special that we are having is this is um, to join Stampin' Up! And let me just say this is, this is a great um, special because... For $99, you get to pick $125 worth of product. You get your choice of a stamp set in any catalog, okay? Either the occasions or the annual catalog. You get your choice right here. You get a paper sampler of all of the papers that are in um, the occasions catalog. They're not all the papers, but you get you even get some uh, that's in the celebration here. But there's a, paper, a sample of paper, and then you get this mini cutter, which is absolutely wonderful. Let me show you this. This little mini cutter is just fantastic. It's um, guillotine, and I mean, I, I have been using that more than what I even thought I ever would. Um, this is the pack of paper, the sampler pack. So there's 48 sheets in here. There's those poppies, the golf, it balloons. I mean, you know, you get a nice array of um, paper in here. It's almost like a paper sampler. So, I mean, um, a paper share. So, um, with all of that being said, uh, this is the greatest time to join, guys. I can't stress it enough. I would love to have you join my team. I have a little Facebook group just for my downlines. Um, they get my free card kits every month and a little gift for me every month uh, in the mail when you join with me. Uh, and again, it is just $99. You get to pick $125 worth of product. I don't know if I said that. $125 worth of product plus a stamp set of your choice, plus you get this paper and you get the mini cutter. So if you're looking at like the catalog, the occasions catalog, and your order is at $99, I would seriously think about joining because you get 20% off. Um, it's like I say, if I was at Hobby Lobby and I found a coupon that said 20% no exclusions, um, I would definitely use it. And that's exactly what this is. This is a 20% off constant coupon for you guys if you are demonstrators. Um, everyone, let me say this, everyone on my team is a hobby demonstrator. Nobody makes a business out of it yet on my team. I would love for them to, but if they don't want to, they are crafting demonstrators. Um, they do wonderful, beautiful projects. Um, they post on the, um, the Facebook page, and I love... Um, I love being their upline, uh, and I 
so appreciate them sticking with me so that I could grow my business because it is a process to grow your business. Um, and so, uh, really, if you guys are thinking about ordering $100, please think about joining up as a demonstrator. Again, you can just be a hobby demonstrator. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to do parties. It's like I say, you could be your best customer and get a wonderful discount. Now, I am doing a paper share. This is the paper share for the Occasions Catalog. You get nine papers. This is exactly what it is. There's six six by six sheets in every single pack. It's packaged just like this in these bags. This way, when you use the paper, you can take your scraps and put them back in here, um, and you know everything that you have. Everything is marked on the outside, what it coordinates with. So here's the Peaceful Poppies, Birthday Bonanza, Parisian Blossoms, Tropical Oasis, From My Heart, this is a specialty paper, that means that um, some of the um, paper has foiling on it, Country Club, wonderful manly paper, Best Dress, fun, this is fun, It, ha it that's, that's a fun set, and then you get the two celebration papers in the celebration catalog, this is Golden Honey specialty, so there's gold foiling on that, and then you get the Lily Impressions. These are both celebration papers. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's packaged just like this. It's $35. The shipping, everything is included. It's a flat fee of $35. I ship it priority mail. You get nine papers. Okay, nine paper shares right here. They're all six by six, and I only have four left. I'll put a video at the end of this one showing you um that will show every single paper that's in that one i go through the whole thing for you okay so enough with the housekeeping on that now let's get to this card i have to say about the poppies let's talk about the poppies um i absolutely love this new setup i am right behind this camera and um all of my play pretties inks and everything are just like right in front of me out here and um, I just love this. This is where I do my lives, my Facebook lives on Sunday. Sunday at 7, I do Facebook lives. Check it out below. There's a Facebook link. Go over there and um, like the page and get the notifications. And I'll be more than happy to um, uh, craft with you on Sunday evenings at 7. That's, so that's a lot of fun. Now, in the New Occasions catalog, they have sets that go together. This is the painted labels dies. This is the poppy moments dies. So the word moments goes with peaceful moments. The word painted goes with painted labels, okay, and painted poppies. I can't stop using these sets. I love that this is all sentiment and I love that this is all stamp. I absolutely love that the um, dies coordinate. So uh, let's just look at these dies because um, with this new product, I, I know that this video is going to get a little long. It's okay because I'm very excited about this launch on the 3rd. But look at these dies. I, I love these labels right here. I've used this flower for this one. We're going to use it. Um, and then this one here. Oh my goodness, I've made a card with this very, very large poppy right here, and it turned out beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this greenery I put on the card, and then um, I used this, and I used these buds right here on the envelope. There's a video, uh, I think it's a few videos down, and I used this set, and I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much with these that, because they coordinate, you're, at, you're getting so much product. Um, you're getting just so much product. It, this is amazing to um, play in the craft room with. Let me get that in there. Okay, so uh, just too much fun. Just a lot, lot, lot of fun. Now, um, this card right here. Let's go over our dimensions. We have a uh, uh, medium size Whisper White envelope. <clears throat> we have a card base that is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. It opens like this. We have an inside layer of Blackberry Bliss at five by three and three quarter and regular Whisper White at four and three quarter by three and a half. Your outside layers are um, Old Olive at five and a quarter by four and then this beautiful DSP from the Poppies. Um, let me show you this. 
this is peaceful poppies this dsp right here oh my gosh it is absolutely phenomenally gorgeous i cannot even stop um playing with it so here's that side with the blackberry bliss and the polka dots and then here's the other side which that coordinates so well together just to get it i'm going to do a card like that also so um yes it is wonderfully <laughs> i don't know it cord everything coordinates so well for me i have trouble with that coordinating things stampin up takes that um, guesswork out of it for me so this dsp right here is five by three and three quarters at the beginning of this video i put all of the measurements down um, for you guys and um, but i always go over them with you now i used my stitched oval right here just like that and now we're going to make this element here and i use this beautiful ribbon you know i didn't think i'd like this ribbon it's so funny when you see things in the catalog right this is crinkled seam binding and i was like nah, i don't think i'll like it guys i just keep going to it i just keep going to it and this ribbon right here you can color with your markers or your ink you can run it through ink and you could color it so really when you buy this spool of ribbon you have an array of every color that you have you of, of ribbon because you can color it so I really wanted to do a video like that um, and I will I just haven't gotten to it yet I've been um, doing the paper share and um, you know getting all of that done like I say I only have four of those left okay so let's do some stamping finally right we had to do some housekeeping because with the launch of the catalog, I want you guys to know exactly what is going on. I'm opening Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to put my Mossy Meadow on this side and hope I remember that in the next five seconds, right? <laughs> Blackberry Bliss and Old Olive. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on here with my Blackberry Bliss, my absolute favorite saying, right here these are the moments we'll look back on with joy i think that does that just say everything i mean just crafting together being um with my team and you guys and my paper pumpkin people and this goes right in the middle um you know just having fun in this craft room and I, you know i always call it happy crafting um because that is what this is always to be is absolutely happy crafting so now we have our element right here and i'm going to just flip that over and i want to just um use some of my sides of my dimensionals remember never ever throw your dimensionals out i'm putting that in the middle you can use the entire sheet so i'm just cutting these off two at a time because this is an oval, these work out perfect on the sides, okay? So like I say, don't ever throw your dimensionals out. You can use the entire sheet, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take all this off now, and we can have it ready, right? This way when our card is done, we can just put it all together quickly. Let's see. And this one right here. Okay, so let me put that aside. Now, um, let's bring in a piece of scrap Whisper White. And in my Mossy Meadow, I'm going to do my little leaf here. And it is in that, um, let's see, right here, the Painted Puppies. Right here it is, that leaf right there. So then the Painted... Um, Painted label dies is where the die is for this. I'm still trying to get used to all the names and, you know, all the new stuff. So Mossy Meadow, and my Mossy Meadow, I, I have it on my list to order the re-inker. So I'm going to do three of these in Mossy Meadow. I think I really use this color a lot during Christmas. <laughs> three of these. Just like that, that came out perfect. Now, and these are the cling stamps. So as you see, I'm not, I don't have a, um, a uh, mat underneath everything. So that's nice. Um, now what we want is our Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. Right here. And we want our flower that's in the Painted Poppies. This, um, not that one. I want the larger one. Where is it? 
I want the full flower right here. Right here. Block. Okay. And in my Tuxedo Memento Black ink, ink that up. Make sure that I've got good ink. And press that down. Wonderful. Oh, this is, I love this setup because I'm able to clean my stamps now as, as I'm going. Like I'm really just completely crafting with you guys. I hope that's okay. Okay, let me move this aside just a second. And let me bring in the inside piece, the inside whisper white. Try to get all our stamping out of the way and then close everything up. And this saying right here, life is better with a friend like you in Blackberry Bliss. Oh, I can really, honest to goodness, I'm behind the camera, but I can get right over top of this without my head. Oh, I love it! Without my head being in the way, and I am so excited about this new setup for 2020. Good, and forever, because this is the way it will always be now. It's just wonderful. Okay, now I want to um, I want to take the smudge. I guess that's what I call it. This is the smudge. Okay, <laughs> and I want to go into Blackberry Bliss, full strength. I want to stamp it off, and now I'm going to stamp it on, and now again, and stamp it off, and then on right here. Um, let me clean that. Well, I could have done my envelope. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take, um, did I take the half of the flower? Yes. I want to take um, this piece of the flower, like where it's sideways, where this one is full on. This is kind of sideways. I want to take this in Old Olive. Not the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. I want it in Old Olive, and I'm going to put it in the center of my smudge. Oh, cute. Let me show you in the other card right here. Here I stamped off with my smudge a little bit on my, um, on my corners. I stamped it off. But when I did my envelope and stamped it full on like that, I liked it better. So that's what I did with the inside of this card. And I really do like that with the smudge with the flower in the middle of it. It is perfect. So let's go ahead and um, and do our envelope. Let's see. Let me get one right here. Oh, this is just so easy for me to craft. It's amazing when you move things around. You're like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Okay, so into the Blackberry Bliss again. Stamp it off. Full on. Or, I mean, no. Stamp it off, and then that is the second generation. I'm going to stamp it off again and the second generation there. Then we're going to get our sideways flower into the old olive. Oh, just makes your envelope, doesn't it? Makes it happy. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's move that aside. Get that blackberry bliss off of my finger. I got some on the envelope, but We'll have to deal with that, right? That's okay. Now let's go ahead and close all of this ink up. And I love that I can just place it right into my, um, you know, I have all my storage up over here. And I can just, as I'm putting it, as I'm closing it, now I can put it away. I was trying to like minimize my, I don't know, time. <laughs> Okay, so that's the inside. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and attach that to the Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to use some Tombow. I suppose you guys are getting ready for the new year. And new things to craft with. I love new product. So that goes right there. Isn't that pretty? 
with the um, with the Blackberry Bliss as a mat. I've been doing a lot of mats. Um, I just really think it, it makes your cards just look beautiful. Uh, I started doing it at Christmas and um, I just really kept, oh, let me say this. I found this card base that didn't have anything on it. So I'm using this style to make our card on camera. So this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. It opens like this. So you could do this card either which way. But I had this card base and I was like, oh, I want to use that base. Now this will go inside and that Blackberry Bliss frames out that white. It just lifts it, you know, and I think it just makes your um, stamping and everything inside your card look so pretty. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and add our um, uh, old olive right here to our base on the outside. What I try to do too when I'm doing something like this is get my elements um, layered on my card to kind of get them, the ones that I can, to get them out of the way. All right, right there, whoop. Right there, beautiful. And now what we're gonna do is take our um, piece right here, our DSP, flip it over, and we're gonna use a tiny amount of snail here on the bottom. And we're gonna take this ribbon, I'm just gonna eyeball it, just about that much, okay? And just give it a snip. And then what I do is, I think you guys have seen me do this in many, I do this a lot in many videos. I rarely wrap my ribbon all the way around. So then I position my ribbon and put it into the snail on the back of the card. Now, do I want it that low or do I want to come up a little bit? I kind of want to come up a little bit. Wow, this ribbon is thin. So like once it went in there, it's in. Okay, we're good. Want to come up just a little bit there. And then here. And this is the time that you should, yeah, go ahead and make any adjustments while you can. Okay, now that snail holds that ribbon. Isn't that nice? So you can, you know, straighten it up or whatever that you need to do. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to put my Tombow back here and add my layer to my card. Just like that. Let's bring our base in. Now look how nice we've cleaned our desk up as we've just started to put all of these layers together and then I can do my big shot work. Ooh, a little glue came out there. That's okay. Tombow dries clear. Nice. Good. Now let's move that aside. Or actually, what we can do is um, let's put our element on. Let's do that. So this goes to the left just a little bit. And the bottom part of it over this ribbon right here. But allowing some of the DSP to show on this side. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to make a little fake bow. I call it my little knot bow. I don't know what to call these. You just put it under your ribbon and make a knot. That's it. You just tie it. And um, it comes out really cute, if I could get a hold of it. And you don't waste a lot of ribbon. Pull. I'm working off of the spool. Pull toward the spool. Just like that. I love the way it gathers the ribbon right there. I pull these together. Just like that with my fingers and I give them a little snip on an angle and honest guys let, let me show you that's what I've wasted that's the ribbon that's it isn't that wonderful to do it like that and then you know if it's too long you cut it back it's okay I kind of like it <clears throat> so I'm gonna leave that just like that and now what we're going to do is um let me do that. let me get that there I don't know maybe I got to think about this we might need that just to yeah I do want it shorter 
it holds me up if I'm thinking about it, right? Did you, <laughs> you could kind of hear me thinking. <laughs> so I'm just going to give it another little haircut. Yeah. Okay. These little tails need to be short. There we go. Okay. Kind of try to manipulate it. Now, if you really want to manipulate it, you could put glue dots behind it. But I don't. I just want it to be free. Free, free flowing. Okay, now. We have our envelope. We have almost the beginning, or the outside of our card. Where have we put what we stamped? Up here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is do a little coloring and cut it out on the big shot. I'm going to take my light old olive and light calypso coral. So here's the old olive. And that's why I used the mossy meadow. Because I wanted that to be my highlighter. And I really get very gingerly toward the edges here because this is not tuxedo memento black ink okay to hold the alcohol marker in but we're good just kind of barely touch the edges okay and then color in the middle and see how the mossy meadow just made that have dimension wonderful so again we're just going to keep going here And just do this little bit of coloring. So we have, as we're um, coloring, let, let me just talk to you about, you know, all the specials that are coming up with Stampin' Up! I'm excited. Uh, like I say, I love new product. Um, I will say for the first four years of me trying to make this a business, I was my best customer. So, you know, if you're thinking that, wow, I'll do this and I'll quit my day job, no, okay, <laughs> no. And um, I don't think that my business um, is at a level. Now I'm using the light Calypso Coral and I'm going over this beautiful flower with that. Um, so my business is small. Well, I'll say that. I don't have hundreds underneath me. Um, maybe someday, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that I push myself like that. Um, my objective, myself, with Stampin' Up! is um, just to supplement a retirement income when I do get to retire. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of staying away from the middle. I'm going a little bit, but I'm kind of staying away from it just a little, little bit. And getting each and every petal. This is very fast coloring. Nothing is shaded. I just did a light Calypso Coral. So, um, with all of that being said, you know, like I say, I'm not a pushy person. And um, I just like my whole team. They just have fun. They're just a bunch of crafting demonstrators, and I would love to have you join my team. I'm going to take a little light so saffron. Nope, this is light daffodil delight. That's what it is. And I'm going to kind of go over the center here. Just a little bit. You can barely, barely see it, but it's not like it's pink. It's, you know, it's just a little something there. You can barely, barely see it. You want to use a light yellow on that. Whatever color you have. I thought I picked up light so saffron, which, you know, would be fine, too. Um, okay. Oh, I'm so excited crafting with you guys in this area. I mean, I'm like, wow, it's really changed my whole um, perspective in this craft room. I hope um, that we have two leaves here, okay? And then we have the larger flower. I can't wait to use this because it's stitched. I want to do that in gold. Don't you think that would look great in gold? I can't stop playing with the set, guys. Now, the big shot is right next to me. I love this. I'm going to just move it right here. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. We're going to take our little die here, and we're going to find where it goes. Just kind of, I just kind of work with it a little bit. Let's see. I think I had it, and I moved it. Let me look at it again. Yes, okay. Right there. Now remember, with the new Stampin' Up! dies, you don't want to see any white. Okay, you do not want to see any white. Now, these are very small. 
So, my suggestion always is washi tape. Just one little piece. You don't want to see any white. I see all my black edges there. I'm good. I want to see mossy meadow here. We're good. And then mossy meadow here. Isn't it nice that they gave us two leaves? Although I wanted to do three, so I'll just run it back again. Okay, now plate. Run through the big shot. Okay. Pop these little babies out. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, so wonderful. Little leaves. And one more time through. Just one more, and we've almost got this card done. Okay, now let me say this much about, you know, I always try to be as truthful as I can with you guys and <clears throat> tell you guys what's up and coming. Now, this is not anything that I've heard or anything about anything that's been in print or um, anything like that, but... This poppy set, honest to goodness, guys, I swear, I think this is going to sell out very, very quickly right at the first. Um, it seems like it is the most popular set, okay, at this point with demonstrators. Now, um, you know, like I say, not every demonstrator makes a business out of this. So it could be, you know, a lot of them are like my team. I think every one on my team has ordered this set. Both of them. Um, January 3rd comes, whether it be with me or someone else. And remember, if it's with me, you get the two free card kits. I'm designing them um, today, actually, for the month of January. These are the, were the ones for December. But you always get two free card kits from me if you order from me. If you're a new customer, you get, um, you get the uh, annual and uh, both the other catalogs. Now let's go ahead and put this together. This flower, I'm going to go half on and half off. Didn't that come out cute? It just needed that little bit of coral with the green and the um, Blackberry Bliss to really let that flower pop. So you just want one little piece up here. That's what I'm going to do of dimensional. So like I was saying, and now I'm going to use some Tombow right here because we have, this has popped up with dimensionals, but I want my flower attached so that it's secure. So I have a dimensional on one side and Tombow on the other, and I just do that. That's it. So it gives the dimension, but it's also attached right here. Wonderful. Okay, now my leaves, they're very, very simple. You just bring them around with some Tombow. So yeah, my take on it is that these poppies are going to be the hot, hot, hot seller. So on January 3rd, if you are placing an order, I would kind of want these to almost be first on your list. Okay. I think everybody has gone wild over the set. It's a fun set. Um, I also want some Tombow right here because I want it to stick to my card. I mean to my um, flower. So top and bottom on this second one. See how I stick it under there? Now I, it's sticking right here, but I also want it to stick under the flower there. And that's why I put that little dot of Tombow there. Perfect. And now this one on this side going up. It's kind of like a little circle of leaves. Just a little Tombow there, and again on the, on the flip side, just a little bit so it'll stick to the flower. And I just want to kind of lift that up. And each time you do it, it'll be a little bit different. You can. Oh, that came out so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Such a pretty card with these poppies. Oh my gosh, goodness, guys. I so appreciate you guys hanging in here with me through this video. And my new setup for my filming. Here are our cards for today. Beautiful, beautiful poppy set. The um, 
here we are at the painted poppies oh my goodness oh my this january 3rd guys and the peaceful moments there are two sets on the same page and they really coordinate very well together i hope you'll give it a shot um, if you place an order with me i sure do appreciate you this is a wonderful set a lot of good time in the craft room thanks again for watching and happy crafting